Are vitamins a waste of money? Do they have any benefits? Well, doctors who know do see real benefits from food vitamins. But if you listen to the media, you're going to hear stories that vitamins are dangerous, vitamins are bad. Uh, matter of fact, speaking of the media, yesterday evening I was reading the paper and headline, multivitamin pill popping likely doesn't help all ills. And it goes through, talks about the study and that uh, vitamins could be dangerous and that people shouldn't take them. Furthermore, I went online. I'd like to read another headline. How do Americans waste $28 billion a year? On vitamins, doctors say. Doctors? What kind of doctors? Are you talking about doctors who haven't studied nutrition? I was actually watching CNN last night, and I saw a couple of doctors being interviewed, and they are doctors who spend a lot of time on television. They probably get most of their income on television. I don't believe that they have full-time practices. I'm pretty sure they, they couldn't, uh, if, because I don't see how they do television in that as well, as often as they both are doing it. But they're explaining why. You know, you don't need to take vitamins. Healthy people are the ones who usually take them. It doesn't do them any good. It's a waste. It's not hardly anybody gets scurvy or berry berry anymore, and therefore you don't need vitamins basically, and that's the deal. It's all a waste, and that they could be harmful. Well, there's a couple of things they neglected to mention. First, by mentioning berry berry and scurvy, at least that hints that they heard of nutrition and they realized that there are some diseases specifically that certain nutrients do help prevent. That's fine. You would expect medical doctors to know that. But most medical doctors do not have extensive training in nutrition. I, for example, have a PhD in nutrition science, as well as a doctorate in natural health. In addition to that, I'm the first scientist since World War II that had a paper published in a major medical journal explaining why all the vitamins are better if they're real. I've in that paper, I comment that most of the time medical doctors are trained, they don't get adequate training in food versus non-food nutrients. They don't know the difference between real vitamins and synthetic vitamins. They get limited training. They're basically taught that they're the same. Now, a particular study that's been in the headlines, one of them involved a study done of 6,000 doctors who decided to take a multiple vitamin. And it was a 12-year study, and it found that for taking the normal synthetic vitamins that the doctors would take, there was no improvement in cognitive ability nor memory. Therefore, this is a waste of time, a waste of money. Well, actually, I had another paper published in a major medical journal titled, Can Cognitive Deterioration Associated with Down Syndrome Be Reduced? In that particular paper, I explained how food vitamins and food minerals are much more effective for, uh, the, to help prevent the accumulation of advanced protein glycation end products that occurs not only in the Down syndrome population, but in the Alzheimer's population and the diabetes population. As a matter of fact, the normal type of selenium that's in most supplements it has less than 1%, less than 1% of the efficacy of food selenium help prevent the accumulation of advanced protein glycation end products. So no wonder these studies keep coming out and saying there are no results because, again, they're using synthetic vitamins. A couple of years ago, there was an Iowa study that came out and involved 38,772 older female Americans. And in this study, it followed them, who, those who took multiple vitamins and said those who took the synthetic multiple vitamins didn't live as long as those who didn't take them. Now, some will say, well, that's counterintuitive. Well, not really. Synthetic vitamin formulas, which is what 98, 99% of the multivitamins that most people take, even ones they get from a health food store, most of the time those are synthetic, uh, those, the vitamins themselves are not in the same chemical form as most vitamins are found in real food. So that's one issue. And then the minerals, most minerals that are sold in supplements are actually not minerals as found in foods, they're basically mineral salts or rocks with acids added to them to change them a little bit. But again, they're not foods. In foods, let's say uh, broccoli, for example, there's calcium in broccoli, but it doesn't exist as calcium carbonate or something along that line. Um, it's actually straight uh, calcium, which will attach to an amino acid, a lipid, or a carbohydrate. But it's not a chemical rock, which is what, again, is in most uh, vitamin and mineral formulas. 
Now, the other thing that got me about this study and people's reaction to it, because it's been over the media in December of 2013, is that it said so $28 billion are being wasted. Well, above my head, let me point to it. You can see the PDR for herbal medicines, the PDR for nutritional supplements. And while these books are not the greatest um, references, perhaps, in terms of all the results that you can get from food versus uh, non-food vitamins or herbs, etc., the reality is even those books, which medical doctors you'd think might read, since they're called the PDR, they're put out by the same PDR people who put out the pharmaceutical one, they basically, those books basically tell you that various vitamins do have efficacy. They tell you various minerals have efficacy. They tell you that various herbs have efficacy. Yet, some of the media are trying to trash the whole industry. Say, okay, multiple vitamins didn't help this one thing. And again, it was synthetic multiple vitamins that they were using. Since the synthetic vitamins didn't help this one particular thing, and we've done a couple other studies on synthetic vitamins that didn't really seem to work, Everybody's wasting their money with, with vitamins, and that's nonsense. Now, some of the things I heard them say was, the doctors on CNN, for example, said, well, it's normally healthier people who are taking the vitamins, and they're not the ones that need it. It's the unhealthy people that need it, because you're not going to get any benefits, basically, from taking a multiple vitamin if, uh, if you're a healthy person. Well, I consider myself basically a healthy person. I try to eat organic. I try to eat right. Um, I maintain my weight. I exercise, so according to them, I shouldn't need to take a multiple vitamin. But I do take a multiple vitamin. I take a food multiple vitamin. It's called vitamin mineral, by the way. And why do I take it? Because I know that there have been changes to the food supply. I know about modern agricultural practices. And so I thought it would be a good idea to take it. Now again, I'm going to give you a personal example. I'm not saying it applies to anybody else, but for myself personally. Around uh, 15 or so years ago, this product came out. And so I decided to take it. And for the reasons I told you, just to fill in nutritional gaps, not to replace my diet, not to make it so I can't eat healthy, because I still try to do all that. But I figured it would be good to supplement. So I take one of them a day, which is roughly 50% of most vitamins and minerals, and figure the rest I'll get in my diet. And I figure it's also good in case my diet might be deficient in some trace mineral or something else I wasn't really thinking about. Well, in my hands, where I go from being kind of tan to more white, I used to get little flaky skin. Not much. I'm talking about about that small, just like, uh, like a millimeter. And you have like one or two flaky pieces there. And I thought, well, that's fine. I wash my hands a lot. I'm a doctor. I wash between people and a lot of times, or I use disinfectants or whatever. And I said, well, Probably because I wash my hands a lot, my, I get you know, a little bit of uh, dry skin. Now, I didn't take the multiple vitamin because of the dry skin. D didn't occur to me. I just figured it was just a natural thing and there was nothing to worry about. It didn't bother me. But after I took the multiple vitamin, it went away. It went away. Now, that was not some type of thing that the studies have done. They didn't try to see if there's any benefits whatsoever from taking uh, synthetic multiple vitamins. They said they wanted to see if whatever they were checking if it improved. But they didn't check food multiple vitamins. They didn't check food multiple vitamins and tried to see all benefits, not just one particular type of benefit. I think they have come to a different conclusion. Well, in my case, the dry patches I used to get, again, very small, and they didn't bother me, they didn't irritate me, they didn't itch, there was nothing, they weren't infectious, that went away. Now that went away over 15 years ago. Now, by the way, that means I'm over 15 years older than I was when I first uh, started to take this multiple vitamin when I had the dry skin. Now, as one gets older, usually you get more dry skin and more patches and such. Mine went away. Coincidence? I don't think so. I believe that uh, there are a lot of factors that we do not understand. And I said to myself, is, look, if something that I saw went away, so some what I consider an insignificant issue, what about on the inside? Could there have been anything else going on that was important? And I think the answer was yes. And I think it was very good. And so I continue to take that same multiple vitamin today. You say, okay, well, who really cares about uh, your skin issue? Well, I, I mentioned uh, diabetes before. You know, the American Diabetes Association says vitamins don't work. Why do they say vitamins don't work? Because they've only checked synthetic vitamins. I, on the other hand, have found that uh, if diabetics uh, incorporate 
food supplements, ones that are truly made out of foods, which come in bottles and pills and form, you know, tablets or capsules, that actually they do much better than those who don't take such things. And so I do see benefits. Now, how much benefits do I see? Well, this is a bit tricky, but as far as I can tell, over 98% of the people who follow my nutritional-based recommendations report improvement. Now, if you want to, some spe specific statistics on that, you can go to the healthresearch.com website. That's the healthresearch.com website. And there's a paper that I had published in a, a chiropractic journal called The Original Internist, and no, I'm not a chiropractor, uh, a while back. It showed that 929 out of 945 people who followed my nutrition-based recommendations reported improvement for all kinds of health problems, symptoms, and complaints. I don't want to go through all of those right now, and you can read it if you wish. But 929 out of 945, and by the way, the longest study was like 90 days, okay? Food, nutrition, works. If you give people the right herbs, the right uh, foods, the right food vitamins, the right food minerals, glandulars, or whatever, you can get real results. Yet, people have had issues. The doctors who don't know the difference between food and non-food vitamins keep trashing vitamins. But the reality is food vitamins are better. Now why do some of these studies, or several studies, come up with the conclusion that synthetic vitamins, multivitamins, mineral formulas don't work? Well, it's partially because they're not the same chemical form found in the human body. So the human body has to figure out what to do about it. Uh, for example, most people, when they take synthetic vitamin B, even though they think it's natural, uh, whether it's in multiple vitamins or, or B formulas or whatever, are taking a substance called folic acid. You say, well, I thought folic acid was good. No, folates are good, but the body can only convert 266 micrograms of uh, folic acid into usable methylfolate. So the body's got to figure out what else to do with that. Well, some studies have suggested that this increased amount of uh, folic acid in the body may increase the risk for colon cancer, breast cancer, and or uh, prostate cancer. Furthermore, again, the body's got to do something with these synthetic forms. They're not natural to the body. Now, it's not that the body can't get any benefit ever from any of the synthetics. If you're severely deficient, the, the synthetics uh, have some benefit. And the medical doctors pretty much said that on the air. But they didn't distinguish between the synthetic and the real. And there's a big difference. Uh, doctors who know do see benefits from vitamins and minerals made out of food and from supplements uh, contained of foods, including herbs, glandulars, vitamins, and minerals. So don't buy into the media hype. Look at the studies. You'll find out that the studies that they're referring to that say vitamins don't have benefits are talking again about synthetic multiple vitamins. Again, if you want more studies uh, on the benefits of food vitamins, you can go to website www.healthresearch.com. That's www.healthresearch.com. But if you're a doctor or practitioner and you want to carry food vitamins for your practice, you want more information about vitamins that are made out of food and it's the ones that are available and the formulas that are available, uh, you can go to our website, doctorsresearch.com. That's D-O-C-T-O-R-S research, all spelled out, dot com. And by the way, I'm president of Doctors Research, lest anybody uh, uh, wonder about that, my connection to this. But I develop or help develop uh, food formulas, not because I was in uh, Doctors Research. Uh, actually, we formed Doctors Research because of my interest in food vitamins and food minerals, not only for my health, but the health of my family, as well as my clientele that I see on a regular basis. So again, don't buy into the media hype Real food vitamins are beneficial. Doctors who know do see benefits from them. They can help turn people's lives around. They can truly help people if people actually consume real food vitamins. This is Dr. Bob Teal for Doctors Research.